Good day, good day. <laughs> How the heck are you? Welcome to Roverland. We have got something interesting for you today. Look at these glorious, look at these grand vehicles here today, all right? Well, uh, a couple of weeks ago, days ago, I don't remember, but my friend, Joseph Lowe, he is from, uh, oh, Joe, man, uh, Virginia? Georgia, Virginia. Yeah, Virginia. Anyway, he uh, showed me that he picked one of these up, and I have had these on the, uh, 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 what do you call it, baseball, up to bat, in the bullpen, ready to come up, uh, and uh, I said, oh, all right, well, let's get it done. So, what do we have here? Well, we're going to jump right now over to this bugger right here because this is going to give us some details on what's going on. Matter of fact, I just picked this up not too long ago. I believe it was off of eBay. Uh, I, I'm sorry, there's probably not a video, sorry. But um, I picked it up because I recognized it, and it's a different color. Yeah, actually it uh, models after this one here. But uh, let's take a look. This one says Desert Shield. Now this says family dollar price, $225. Um, yeah, so and I don't know exactly how long ago this was. DSI, we're gonna talk about that. And I don't know if you guys can read that, but it says, if they're Tommies, they're terrific. Not sure what all is about that, but it's a combat cast or a die cast combat vehicles. Uh, pretty neat, powerful four wheel drive friction. Yeah, let's turn it over and pretty much just a blank, pay, blank page on the back, except for a little ditty here. Now, this says 1990 and Dyersville Specialties Inc. And they are from Houston, Texas, made in Hong Kong. So the DSI is uh, Dyersville, Dyers, Dyersfield um, Specialist Inc. So that that's kind of cool. Then once again, it goes with if they're Tommies, they're terrific. So I'm not really sure what that was all about. But anyway, did some uh, research on. Uh, the uh, Dyersville Specialties, and didn't really come up too much, but uh, the Desert Shield uh, line that they had, I guess they had dress-up sets as well as uh, like Halloween sets with helmets, vests, canteens, belts, uh, knapsacks. <laughs> so um, yeah. Now, here's the sad part of the story. Houston Business Journal, back in November 2nd, uh, 2003, says DSI Toys, and they updated it uh, from the October 30th, 2003, filed Chapter 7 bankruptcy. Yes. And uh, it looked like um, they reported 2001, Listen to this, $33 million in sales. Nope. <laughs> and 2002, they went down to $24 million. And from uh, January to October in 2003, they only had done $5.5 million. So they were on the way down and uh, spiraling out of control. Don't know exactly uh, if that was during a type of recession that we did not have. <laughs> but anyway, back in the heyday, DSI, Dyersville uh, Specialties, Inc., uh, did things for Walmart, uh, uh, Kmart, Target, Toys R Us, KB Toys, and FAO, FAO Swartz, which, out of that list, Walmart and Target are the only ones. I don't think there's any FAO Swartz anymore. I think Walmart and Targets are the only stores now that are still around. So yeah, no wonder, you know, with those many 
stores going out. Uh, just recently, Kmart. Uh, before that, uh, Toys R Us. And way before that, uh, you know, the uh, uh, KB Toys went out. Uh, so, yeah, just very interesting. Well, anyway, these here, except for this one on the card, I know I bought that on eBay, but the rest of these here, I bought in the wild. And I actually remember where I got them from. Now, if you all know, um, I am uh, located in Wisconsin. And in the heart of Wisconsin is a big tourist attraction town called Wisconsin Dells. And they have uh, water parks. It's the water park capital of America. And uh, getting a lot of tourists from Chicago, Minneapolis, such and so forth. Wit is just a, uh, a tourist town, just a tourist town. During the, during the winter, there is not much going on. Uh, uh, a lot of the restaurants close down, but there are some family restaurants that go year round. But the, the parks and stuff close up because the water freezes. And uh, yeah, the hotels kind of slow down immensely. So anyway... The story is that in these shops, uh, they have these toys, and usually uh, it's in a tray of 9 or 12 that they come. They open the lid, they fold the lid, and these sit in white trays in a cardboard box that uh, kids come along, and they purchase them. Now, that's where most of these came from, is because I'd go through there, and I would try to uh, find this kind of toys, you know, these uh, trash and trinket type toys. And so it was really kind of neat that I was able to find it on the card. I mean, I didn't even know, you know, that they even made such a thing. So that was kind of cool. But this first one that we're going to look at now, I 650. So yeah, yeah, these, these buggers, now normally back here, back here in 1990, it was 225, but no, no, you go to the Dells, and you're paying 650. So look at yeah, that's how we that's how we keep the Dells going for only you know four months out of the year. But uh, very cool. They are definitely a Land Rover. Looks like a Series Three Land Rover with the grill there. Uh, it's got the winch on there. Big honking wagon wheels. Um, supposedly has four wheel drive, but all these uh, just the back wheels uh, spin on them. So. I don't know where they get the four-wheel drive powerful thing is. Now, this one has kind of a luggage rack on there with some lights on there. The, the body is metal. Got a star on it. Army. Ought 8 tree 8 9 or 7 on there. But, uh, yeah. Uh, same thing on each side. Got two of these buggers. Like I say, at 650. Then I've got another one. I always kind of like to collect in pairs, uh, you know, so I can uh, have one like this, one like that. There you go. All right, so let's take a look at this green one. There's the tan one. Here's the green one. Uh, and that's got a, um, I don't know if we can see, and they just put that little <laughs> chrome ball on top. Apparently that's supposed to be a beacon. Same casting. Just it has, and these are uh, these are are painted uh, decals. These are uh, painted on. They're not stickers. They're a decal. They're they're pretty much flush mounted. This has got the red cross on it. Pretty good details in there. Uh, you know they're they are a right hooker and uh, chrome wheels. Yeah, I love the rims there. It does have a hitch on it there. I guess you can. Uh, hook stuff up to it, but uh, it's a Series 3, uh, 88 wheelbase, pretty nice, pretty nice. Uh, and like I say, I was going over there, and uh, every once in a while, I'd find them. I think they are, they were in a uh, assorted pack, you know, this the tray of goodies. So, you know, to get one or two of these guys out of a tray of 9 or 12 uh, was kind of hard to come by, so... So there you go. 
What do you got? You guys got anything like this? I mean, these are these are pretty cool. Uh, they're you know the throwaway junk stuff. You can't really find them all that well, you know, but uh, they are around and uh, just really kind of cool. Really kind of cool. Well, there you go. If you guys got any uh, more of these, um, and I think the one that uh, Joseph had was a tan one. I don't. I think it was plain. Plain tan, if I remember right. Um, but yeah, comment down below if you've got any other different variations of these. Uh, and uh, also, you know, we need to uh, get going on the subscribers there. Go ahead, <laughs> give me a thumbs up. Whoa, give me a thumbs up first and then subscribe. No, subscribe and then give me a thumbs up. I don't care. Uh, go and do what you need to do, all right? All right, well, that's going to be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this. These are really kind of cool um, little little uh, machines. And, uh, yeah, if you got any of these, let me know. Come on over to Facebook and, uh, and uh, yeah, Roverland. And on Instagram, Roverland Channel. And that's going to be it for me today. You guys, thanks for joining me. And as always, slow traffic, keep right, and have a great rover day.